let's talk about hypoxemia versus hypoxia. A lot of people use these interchangeably, but they're not the same thing. Let's walk through their core differences. First, let's break apart the word hypoxemia. Hypo means low, and X or ox refers to oxygen, and emia means in the blood. So this means low levels of oxygen in the blood. Now, if we break apart hypoxia, hypo again means low, X or ox refers to oxygen, and ia means condition or state. So hypoxia means condition of low oxygen in the body, referring to the body's tissues and organs. If you think about it, low oxygen in the blood usually leads to low oxygen in the tissues, since the blood perfuses those tissues. That's why you'll usually see hypoxemia come first, and if it's not corrected, it can lead to hypoxia. You can remember this by the memory trick, hypoxemia think happens earlier. We'll see an increase in respiratory rate, an increase in heart rate, and an increased blood pressure since the body is trying to compensate. And one of the first things you might notice is restlessness or confusion. Now, if it's not corrected, you'll see late signs like decreased respiratory rate, decreased heart rate, and a decreased blood pressure, plus decreased level of consciousness and cyanosis, which is blue discoloration of the skin, lips, and nail bed caused by low levels of oxygen in the blood. If you want more broken down explanations like this, you should check out the complete med surge flashcards. They cover over 250 of the most common med surge topics, including patho, risk factors, patient education, nursing consideration, treatment, and so much more. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.